Hello, it's me, popular YouTube critic Dan Olson, uh, and this is my cat, Mimi. Uh, I watched a film at the cinema, and I'm going to vlog about it. Yay! Captain Marvel is like a smorgasbord. It's at a cross section with like eight different roads that it could go down and it it just kind of circles around the middle a young hot nick fury it's cool and captain marvel is a, a cool character but the film is is boring it's kind of boring oh i'm not i'm not selling it i'm not selling it good uh fun flaming mohawk that's nice young hot nick fury cool budding about the 90s and it would be a fun romp the best bits of the film are where it is just them two uh against the world rather than u.s air force apologia captain marvel is changing the co the colors of her special spacesuit bloop 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 oh what will i be uh oh hey little little child you've got an old our uh, Air Force t-shirt on. L looks like I'm gonna be that. It's just another... What? It's disappointing because the film has this device where you're introduced to Captain Marvel as part of this crack team fighting a bunch of space terrorists who are the space orcs and the twist is that you know the space orcs who we've been led to believe are space terrorists are actually space refugees and the space good guys in the space air force are just space bombing them for their space imperialist conquest sjw film to then turn around and say hey no uh the like the actual u.s air force good job guys that's our hero it's solid symbolism if you don't then just turn around and say that the actual real world institution oh god he's okay I was up for a fun romp where a young hot Nick Fury and a young hot Agent Coulson uh, drive around in the 90s. Maybe, maybe not have uh, some eye-rolling backstory for Nick Fury's eye patch. They could have done that. They could have just, just, or just have, have, have him have an eye patch at the start. You don't have to reference it as a thing. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get in here. You've got Spider-Man now. I like this. Oh god, Disney is a media empire that is inescapable. And please, in my lifetime, can this system collapse so that we can have b big budget cinematic freedom from the military industrial complex? I would like that, please. I've seen two films in cinema this week. Uh, one is Captain Marvel, and one is Happy Death Day to You. If you haven't seen either, and your choice is between seeing either, Happy Death Day to You will give you more artistic uh, nourishment. Which, before tonight, was not, uh, was not what I was expecting to say. Please, can we have a revolution so that my film criticism can improve? Bye.